we got? Going to the Louvre. In our Abu Dhabi travel series, we toured the beautiful Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, had an adrenaline-filled day at Ferrari World, and today we're checking out art at the Louvre Abu Dhabi. everyone, today we're at the Louvre in Abu Dhabi. The Louvre Abu Dhabi opened in 2017 on Sadiat Island. It's the Arab world's first universal museum and it contains around 600 pieces of art. The museum tour starts off in the Grand Vestibule. On the floor of this room, you can find names written in several languages. The names indicate the places of origin for the pieces of art that are on display at the Louvre. Wing 1 contains three galleries, the First Villages, the First Great Powers, and Civilizations and Empires. The First Villages gallery showcases early human figurines. Around 3000 BCE, kingdoms began to appear in Mesopotamia and Egypt. In this gallery, you can't miss the Ramses II statue. Around 1000 BCE, cultural and political groups began to form and expand. Wing 2 showcases universal religions, Asian trade routes, and from the Mediterranean to the Atlantic. About 2,000 years ago, religions began to spread across Europe, Asia, and Africa. With the expansion of religion came vast trade routes. New inventions, materials, and ideas were all exchanged along the trade routes. By the end of the 15th century, navigators were exploring new trade routes and made contact with the Americas. Between the 16th and 18th centuries, empires used their religions, military, and economic powers to continue expanding. The galleries in Wing 4 are A Modern World, Challenging Modernity, and For the Air. During the 20th century, Cubism, 
abstract art, and surrealism open new perspectives regarding art. Gallery 12 is called For the Air. It's the final gallery in the Louvre Abu Dhabi. It is an immersive piece of art that is made from thousands of translucent silicone threads. The building itself is a beautiful work of art. The museum's roof has eight layers of steel and aluminum and it weighs 7,500 tons, which is about the same as the Eiffel Tower. The dome's pattern contains 7,850 stars of different sizes. When the sun shines through the dome, it creates a rain of light effect. This effect was inspired by the way sunlight passes through the date palm leaves. We really enjoyed our day at the Louvre Abu Dhabi. Thank you for watching our video. We have new vlogs coming out on Friday. Please hit that subscribe button and get your one-way ticket with us.